Why is there a green bar at the bottom? Oh well, let's just turn this off. We don't need this anyway. What's up everybody, it's Wabacha, and as I said before, I'm doing a video while I'm transitioning over from life to see I am my latest Shockwave Totem build. And uh, as you can see, I was able to pick up some some decent, well not decent, I would say starter CI gear. Um, I'm hoping this puts me around 8k ES after transitioning to CI. To CI. I did this all on a budget too. Um, I got most of these, I got most of the items for under 5 chaos. The only exception being these boots that I paid 8 chaos for. Uh, but I also bought these boots when I was still under the impression that I'd be using um, whirling blades and possibly go and walk the ether. So I'm going to be looking for a new pair of boots ASAP uh, so I could, you know, do that. Ooh, I don't know what changed here. Ah, my belt. So yeah, I'm going to be transitioning to CI now and just wanted to make a video showing it because I don't really think there are too many videos showing like exactly how you'd go about doing it. I mean, I know it seems pretty straightforward, but it's not as straightforward as you would think because you could make a lot of mistakes quite easily. So I have my passive tree loaded in the skill planner and I'm going to show you. So obviously we're going to count how many points or count how many regrets we're going to need. And there's a couple things that I did, like I took this entire wheel because I knew I'd be dropping all this. This just kind of makes it a little bit easier. You just want to have enough points to drop so you could start completing the tree in other places so then you could continue dropping it. So that's three, six, nine, and then see here's something that we're going to be connecting. Three, six. Where's the other three? Oh, nine. Okay. So three, six, nine. We're going to go ahead and complete this. Dropping this. Then complete this. Dropping this. Dropping this. All right. So we're at 90 points. And this is pretty much how our tree is going to look right now. I'll. After I do the respec, I'll do a couple of quests so I can get some more respec points for these, possibly, uh, just because I want to go this way anyway. So yeah, we're at 90 points, and so we're going to be grabbing like all the, obviously we're going to be grabbing CI. That's the, that's the big one that we're going to be grabbing. Uh, we're going to be grabbing all the, the most efficient um, nodes for... Uh, energy shield right off the bat. So we got that one um, and we're already at 102 points. So we only have three more points to go. Now um, something that I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to do this so I can get this right away. But let me just see. Make sure everything's right here. Oh, this is something. We're going to be taking this point over here. All right, yeah, we will be we'll, we will be dropping that so we could so we could get to uh, Shaman's Dominion much much sooner. Boom. So yeah, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and do that all now. In the game, in the game. Hopefully, we'll have enough CI or not CI. Ha! Hopefully, we'll have enough CI, enough ES. All right, so yeah, we're out of the tree. So let's go ahead and start dropping points, as mentioned before. Boom, 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 boom. Good. Gonna go ahead and drop those points right away. Even though I didn't say anything about them initially. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna go ahead and complete this. And then. And complete this. Okay, so we have 15 points. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this. Or the other ones I was gonna grab. 
Oh yeah, we're getting that. So we need energy from within. I'll buy one of those. This uh, shows how out of the loop I am. But seven chaos for energy from within jewel. What a fucking ripoff. What else am I supposed to take? Oh. Almost did take Zelt's Oath. Almost forgot about that one. Ha! Dumb. All that ES. Okay, so four points left. Oh, yeah, that's right. And okay, 7,500, which is pretty low. Um, you know, obviously, we're going to be wanting to get. ES percentage on our rings, just don't really have the budget for right now. This this was done on a budget. That's the biggest thing I kind of want to highlight here. That this transition to CI was done on a on a budget, on a, a shoestring budget, if you will. So remember when I said that when you're transitioning from life to CI, uh, it doesn't always go as you planned, and you know you're gonna have to spend more regrets than you anticipate. Well, I'm just gonna give you examples of you know where that actually happened and it did happen for my build even though I I did think I I did think that I had it figured out pretty well but this is exactly why you should be you know ready with you know extra regrets and have a little bit of extra currency so you can't change this so the things that uh, actually did change for me was one I was I'm no longer able to use clarity I do not have the mana uh, to run clarity, discipline, and blasphemy. That's the one thing that I actually, I really don't like about CI. It's something that I really about, like about low life is the fact that you can get multiple auras, but CI, it's really hard to squeeze more than two auras in between blasphemy and discipline. I just couldn't run my clarity. And clarity was something that I did uh, rely on a lot because between that and my mana gain on kill from Assassin's Mark and now from Soul Siphon, uh, that's that's what would kind of keep my mana going. But now without clarity, I have to rely mostly on the mana gain on kill from Soul Siphon and Assassin's Mark, which means it will be a little hit or miss at times. But as as we get levels, that will change drastically. Also, while as we get pieces of gear like this is a you know this is a good example of a piece of gear that you'd want to use you know maybe the resist could be a little bit different but uh this with a tier one uh mana roll and then maybe it you know a tier one um or not tier one but yeah a tier one mana roll on this or you know tier one mana roll on this too those that would actually like really help out quite a bit you know there's plenty of places you can get mana uh, you could get mana on your weapon. You could get mana on your amulet if you know if you had the prefix open. But another thing that had happened that I wasn't anticipating was um, so initially I needed twenty regrets for it with and uh, like I said earlier, dropping these three points. Initially, initially I was kind of thinking about it. And as it turns out, I really needed to get Soul Siphon because, you know, my mana was becoming a, a pretty big problem. And then I was like, well, I have one more point. Let's grab this. And this, you know, like I said, I wanted to be at about 8k energy shield. And, you know, as you can see here, I'm just at over 8k. Um, so between the mana regen and the max energy shield on this, I had to grab that point. So there goes those three points. But I also had to drop this Frenzy Charge too because my mana was still an issue. And for three points, this Frenzy Charge it becomes a stretch, especially when we're in the situation where we're already, you know, we're already stretched for points. So I dropped those and I grabbed Deep Thoughts right over here. And it's something that I foresee myself needing for quite some time. And also another thing, I almost forgot to grab Zealot's Oath. These are just examples of where when you transition from life to CI, uh, you know, just be, just be ready to change things and that things don't work out exactly as you 
envisioned, you know, I had to grab Soul Siphon right away. I had to grab this Energy Shield and Mana Regen point at the start of which, which I don't have in my current build. I had to drop this Frenzy Charge, even though I would love it. Um, and then I had to grab Deep Thoughts, which is something else that I, you know, kind of thought that I wouldn't need, but it was always an option. And then, again, almost forgot Zell South. So, yeah. When you're transitioning from life to CI, just be ready. Just be aware. Things are not going to go exactly as you plan. Unless, of course, see, the next time I do this build, I'll know. I'll be like, okay, maybe I should wait till level, you know, because a lot of people will try to transition to CI at a much earlier level. Uh, but honestly, it's so easy to get level 85 now, just running like tier five maps, really easy maps. You could run bogs, you could run peers. You could get level 85 very, very quickly. And, you know, if I had a little bit more time, I probably would have done that. But people generally try to transition to CI. I want to say around level 75. Uh, that's kind of like the the general time. But, you know, maybe this, maybe for this build, you should transition a little bit later. So, yeah, there you go, guys. Uh, just, uh, you know, like I said, the video of me transitioning from from whatchamacallit to CI, uh, just so we could see it. Ha, see it, CI, whatever. All right, guys, have a good one, and check out, check back for more videos regarding this build and everything. All right, see ya.